Don't always believe what you see, for this train car fight in Doom Eternal functions a lot differently than the game wants you to think. Let's break this car and find out what's really going on underneath the hood. There's also something else very weird about this fight. When we no clip and we go over this train car, everything seems normal, right? Well, let's go out of bounds and look at the car here. As you see, I'm not pressing any buttons here and we are following the track of the car. If I hold right, we zoom ahead. If I hold left, we have to gain a little ground a little quicker. Let's take another look at what happens when we go right here. So we're inside of the arena, but we're outside of the parameters of that train. We're still being flung along in its path. As you see, I'm moving to my left here, moving to my right here but everything is normal. So let's try to fall off. We can't go back in bounds this way, but let's actually try to fall off the train and see what happens. We are quickly sucked right back onto the tracks with the normal gravity and normal settings. As you see here, everything looks a bit strange. We see it is sort of an auto scroller, but we are only beholden to its movement when we are actually on the track in bounds. When we're out of bounds, it's a whole different story. We have a pretty cool view up here and we see that the cave does seem to end, but the train keeps going and we are now on the track again. So normally you hit the switch to progress, but we're gonna not do what we're supposed to do. Watch this car go far away, but where's it go and what's so weird about it? We go no clip over to it, we're sliding it is trying to throw us off the car and it successfully does onto the track. So let's walk around this track for a second and see it's actually solid ground, but something neat comes up here, get ready for it. As I go, I mantle onto here onto from one of the posts. This is really interesting because it's a solid track, but let's go back to where we once were. Let's look at the crazy stuff that happens when you ride this track on the outside, but wait a minute, there's a really glitchy train car here already? Huh, there's also the invisible ceiling and a fully working car waiting for us to enter this next scene. I have just accidentally clipped out of bounds almost, I fell off the train and you saw it flash black to put me on the car, therefore opening the next area up to me. Really interesting, let's check out the car normally. So let's turn around ever so slowly and once we hit a certain point, watch the very right of your screen, the white light comes on and it switches. Now this is very interesting because we're locked onto this train car, we can't move at all. But if we do a quick no clip and reclip back in, we're able to run and jump, but we get slung off the back and not really have the best control here on that end. Something else interesting is when you clip up out of the car, let's go ahead and get a little bit of ground so we can jump and catch the landing and we caught it. We're actually on top of the car, we're able to move pretty freely, but we can also get slung off very, very easily. And also, I can't switch my weapon. So we see some really funny stuff goes on, but what if we speed the game up by five times? What happens when we try to enter in this gate? Oh, wait, we get broken and stuck and we can't go in because we're too fast for the gate. We can also beat the car in here and our movement is uh, normal. And of course, wait a second, the car still comes through, but we get a black, what in the world's going on here? This is a little bit strange, isn't it? And as we see here, this fight did not spawn in. Let me know what you think about these train car antics and then subscribe and watch the next video on glitching out the icon hidden cameras. I'm Austin. Thanks for watching.